Hello everyone, welcome to another Stata tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make professional looking tables using the est out package in Stata. If you haven't done so already, I recommend you watch the video on how to install packages before you watch this one as you are going to need to install the est out package before you can actually use these commands. The most common use that we're going to have for est out is making nice looking tables for our regression results. I've loaded up the campus crime data set and we're going to use that to show some examples. I'm going to run a quick regression here of crime on the number of police. We get this familiar regression table that we've all seen before. The problem with this is that if you are going to be presenting your regression results, whether that's in a written report or uh, in a oral presentation, chances are your audience doesn't care about most of this stuff in the regression output, and it's just going to take up a lot of space that is not necessary, especially if we're going to show our audience a bunch of different regressions. Typically, what we care about are things like the coefficient estimates, first and foremost, but also maybe the standard error, the t-statistics, the r-squared, or the sample size, things like that. The commands that I'm going to show you today are very useful for running several regressions and putting them all into a nice table so that you can easily compare them and show people what the differences in the different competing models were. The first thing that we need to do is every time we run a regression that we want to put in our table, we're going to use the command est sto, e -S -T -S -T -O, colon, space, and then we're going to run the regression as usual. So I'm going to now type regress crime on police. Everything will look the same as before, except now we see est1 stored right here. And then in our variables pane, we can now see a new line has popped up here. This indicates that we have some estimates stored. Now to display the table, we simply type est tab. And this will give me a table with my regression results. And by default, it gives me the coefficient estimates, in parentheses, it gives me the t statistics, and then we get the sample size down at the bottom. I'm going to run a few more regressions to show you what this looks like. Let's type est sto again, and now regress crime on police and enrollment. This has now been saved as our second set of estimates. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. And regress crime on police, enrollment, and the dummy variable for private college. Now if I type est tab, I get a table that shows me a comparison of the three different regressions. And you can see that since police was in all three, we have estimates in all three columns for police, but enrollment only shows up in the second and third regression and private only shows up in the final column. There are lots of ways that we can customize our est tab output. For example, maybe I don't want to see the T statistics and instead I want to get the standard errors. To do this, I'm going to type est tab but now I'm going to start using some options. So as usual, we're gonna to have to put a comma and then the options. To replace the T stats with standard errors, I simply type SE. And you can see now that inside the parentheses, instead of the T stats, we have standard errors and the caption on the table reflects that change. One thing that you might notice is that this table has some stars on some of the estimates. This shows us the confidence levels at which the null that each of these parameters is zero could be rejected. By default, it uses 
1% and a tenth of a percent, but these are also customizable. You can also suppress the stars by simply adding the option no star. And I often do this. You can also see that the caption that indicated the star scheme is also gone. Now, if you want to add the R squared into the table, that's very easy to do. All you need to do is type R2 as an option, and we get the R squared right here underneath the number of observations. If you don't want the number of observations in the table, you can add the option no obs, and that's gone. I usually like to keep that in though. Now sometimes you're going to have a data set where the actual names of the variables are not very clear to the audience. We can add the option label if you want to replace those basic variable names with the more descriptive label names. When I run this now, all of those variable names are replaced by the labels. Now, sometimes you don't want to do this because your labels are kind of long, and in this case, the private college one got cut off. If you accidentally ran a regression that you don't want, you can use the command est sto clear to wipe out all of the estimates so we can just start over. Since I cleared everything out, I'm going to go ahead and run the regressions again. and then execute my S tab just to make it sure everything's working fine and it looks good. It's all well and good to have our professional regression table right here in the SATA results window, but we wanna use these results in a report or a presentation. To do that, we're going to have to export this table. Before we can do that, we always have to make sure that we've set our working directory this will determine the folder into which the output is going to be saved. So I'm going to go into my Stata Tutorials folder. Of course, you can put this wherever you like. Now I'm going to go back to the est tab command that I was using just a minute ago. But now I'm going to add the word using right after est tab, but before the comma. It's not considered an option. And then I type the name of the file. The file extension will determine the type of file into which your results will be exported. For example, if you wanted to use Microsoft Word, then I would name my file, I'll call it example.rtf for rich text format. This is a format that is used by a variety of Microsoft applications. Once I run this, it will say output written to example.rtf, and this is going to be inside my working directory. So I'm going to go and open that folder up and look for my file. Open this up in Word, and you can see that I've got my nice regression table right here in Word. And I can go in and fix things if I want. So let's say I wanted to make this, instead of cons, I could just fix that to have the entire word constant, for example. And we are ready to go. Now, if we decided that that was not quite the table we wanted. And we wanted to adjust things a little bit and output it again. If I run the S tab command using example.rtf, I get an error because the file already exists. And this is just a safeguard so that you don't accidentally overwrite one of your files. If you're sure that you want to overwrite your file, we simply add the option replace. And now example.rtf has been overwritten by the new version. It's also possible to export our results into Excel. We do that by replacing RTF with CSV for comma separated values. And this is a very common file type that can be opened by Excel. I'm gonna go over to my folder and find this one. I'll open this up in Excel. And you can see that we've got our table looking good right here in Excel. If you happen to like writing up your results in LaTeX, we can do that as well. And this is what I typically do. 
is replace the CSV here with TEX. Again, I can go back and find this file and open this up in whatever LaTeX editor that you prefer. This is actually only one of many different kinds of table that you can make using estout and esttab. For example, it's very easy to use esttab to make professional looking tables of a similar format for your summary statistics, including things like mean, standard deviations, confidence intervals, and other sample statistics like that. To find more information about this, I'm going to direct you to a very good web page that I use all the time when I'm making tables. And this is the repec.org guide to estout, which has tons of examples and instructions on how to use all the different features of estout. If you want to use estout for summary statistics, then you want to go here to est post, and this will tell you all the different and interesting ways that you can make summary statistics tables for your presentations and reports. I'll put the link to this page in both the YouTube description and on Canvas. If you have any questions on making tables, installing packages, and using estout in general, please let me know. Thanks for watching.